हो रहा है ओके हेलो वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे वी हैव विद अस सीए विकास चौरारिया फैकल्टी एट बीएससी वर्किंग प्रोफेशनल एंड रजिस्टर्ड म्यूचुअल फंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर ही इज गोइंग टू गिव अस डीप इनसाइट्स अबाउट द कोर्स प्रोस्पेक्ट्स जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड मच मोर या थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच प्रवीण फॉर द काइंड इंट्रोडक्शन सो गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन एंड माय नेम इज विकास चौरारिया so i will be taking you through the ca syllabus the course and the job opportunities which you can get and how you can register it and how can you go through the ca course everything we will discuss about it in detail and after that after the slide show is over we can take the questions which may come up and we will try to address your queries regarding any of the issues you might be facing regarding this particular professional course so has anybody heard about chartered accountancy anywhere from their seniors from their colleagues anyone or this is the first time you're hearing the chartered accountancy word or the chartered accountancy course you can raise your hand if anybody has heard about it has some knowledge about it from the seniors no one okay not a problem we can have a brief about the chartered accountancy course so if i tell you about the chartered accountancy course it is a profession which helps you in the overall management of finances for an organization and individuals so a chartered accountant professional manages the finance of an organization as well as individuals so an organizations can be companies can be a partnership firm can be an llp and can be trusts also so a chartered accountant manages the overall finances when i say the overall finances it includes the auditing aspects the tax planning aspects if they needs consultancies and if they need advices on the mergers and acquisition all those services are provided by a chartered accountant so this is a brief overview about chartered accountancy what does a chartered accountant do so when we are moving to the next slide this is the complete training of the ca course at a glance that what are the steps what are the stages which you have to cross and after that you will become chartered accountant and you will be admitted in the icai members list so this is the complete flow chart and in the next slides we will go through each individual stage with the required informations and maybe we will go back to this slide so that we have a complete understanding of the ca curriculum so since ca is a internationally recognized profession and it helps the organization manages the budget it helps the organizations individuals in the tax planning and if an organization wants their funds to be managed 
all those services are provided by a chartered accountant a chartered accountant basically can perform anything any services related to the finance and accounting prospects when i say you can see there are five six points the first point is manages budget so a ca helps the organization prepare the budget so in any organization which you go they prepare the budgeted expenditures so an ca can help in determining that these are the expenditures which should be budgeted how the expenditure should be budgeted so every single thing is provided by the chartered accountant the services are provided by the chartered accountant it does the auditing so the financial statements of the organizations are audited by chartered accountant it can be an individual chartered accountant also and it can be big firms also if you have not heard about the big four audit firms then they are pwc deloitte kpmg and ey so these are the big audit firms which audits the big businesses enterprises and they sign the financial statements without the signature of chartered accountant on the financial statements they don't have any credibility they cannot take loan from the banks they cannot file their annual accounts in the mca so all those documents has to be signed by a chartered accountant then only the activities which an organization wants to do such as obtaining loans from bank and everything everything has to be signed by a chartered accountant so a chartered accountant signature is very much important for an organization to perform any kind of work our signature is very useful and very influential for any organization none of the profession has such usefulness of their signature as compared to the chartered accountancy course when i say the tax planning so every organization has to plan their taxes has to plan their investment so that they can pay their taxes accordingly so for an individual also they plan the taxes and for organization also they plan the taxes so the outflow of taxes can be ascertained and when we say about the financial advice helping client manage their funds and business strategy so a chartered accountant can also give portfolio management services to the clients they can help manage the funds of the clients and if they want to invest their funds somewhere then a chartered accountant can help them making those investment he can advise them and he can deploy the funds in the required investment vehicle so a chartered accountant other than the services which are listed here they provide the consultancy services also they provide mergers and acquisition services also and many more services so this is not an exhaustive list these are some of the services which are provided by a chartered accountant now you will ask why chartered accountancy why should we choose chartered accountancy after we have cleared the 12th examination after we have appeared for 12th why should we go for chartered accountancy and why not any other professional course so the answer would be that it is an in demand course it has low financial outflow as compared to any other courses 
it is a globally recognized profession if you are doing a chartered accountancy course you can get a job outside india also you do not have to do any other professional course previously you might you would have to do cpa in order to land a job but now you can do chartered accountancy only and land a job outside india so since it is a globally recognized profession and the body which regulates the ca profession i c a i institute of chartered accountants of india they have memorandums of understanding with various countries they have with canada they have with australia they have with us so all those memorandum of understanding helps the students of india to pursue job opportunities outside india and along with the various career opportunities and avenues career opportunities and avenues it provides excellent salary and perks as per the industry standards it provides great salaries and perks so since it is an in demand and secure profession and it offers various opportunity because of it globalized recognized stature and excellent salaries and perks so to summarize the benefits of chartered accountancy it is like a insurance policy for which you are paying the premium in terms of the fees and the return is huge to give you an example in the next slides we will study about the stages of ca course and the fees at each stages so just to give you an example of that you will be paying close to 50000 rupees for all the three courses combined and i am not taking the examination fees so the amount of investment is close to 50000 even if you include the examination fees and if you clear all the stages at one go the maximum would be 60000 these cost does not include the coaching fees and anything you will be doing practical training also the article ship training also and for that you will be receiving stipend so that money will also come and you will be paying the outflow of money is 50000 as compared to any other professional course and the average salary which you will be getting for that investment would be 7 to 8 lakhs so the return of investment on 50000 50 to 60000 is close to 1500% so we will talk more about that the average salary which a ca get and what are the businesses and opportunities where he can have the where he can land the jobs now what are the jobs which a chartered accountant can get he can get a job in the capital market services industry when we say about the capital market he can work in various stock broking platforms he can work in national stock exchange he can work in bombay stock exchange so all those businesses all those organizations he can apply the job and work there when we say about the financial institution like banks axis bank icic bank state bank you can apply for job there also the requirements of cas are there and you can appear for the examination of individual banks and get a job there so you can start a chartered accountant firm also independent practice also you can apply job for multinational companies such as reliance industries tatas birlas adanis all those companies you can apply for because a chartered accountant is needed in every organization because finance related work accounts related work cannot be performed without a chartered accountant because he has insight and in deep knowledge about the finances 
now we are moving to the next slide it tells you about the three levels which the ca course have first one is the foundation course second one is the intermediate course third one is the final course so we will go step by step so the first stage is the foundation course the first level is the foundation course so in foundation course you can enter in two ways so the first way is after you have appeared for the 12th you can enroll you can register with the ICI for the CPT examination and the other way is the direct course route it is done after you have cleared your graduation and with a specified percentage of marks is required then only you will be allowed to register and enter into the CA curriculum that we will discuss in the next slides so the first level is known as the foundation course in the foundation course after your completion of the senior secondary examination 10 plus 2 you can register on or before first day of January or first day of July for the examination to be held in May or June and November or December so first January is for the May and June examination and first July is for November and December examination and what are the papers that you have to clear what are the subjects which you have to study in the foundation course first one is the principles and practice of accounting paper one is principles and practice of accounting paper two is business laws and business correspondence and reporting paper three is business mathematics comma logical reasoning and statistics and paper four is business economics and business and commercial knowledge so these are the four subjects first one is accounting second is laws and business correspondence third is mathematics and logical reasoning and fifth is economics and commercial knowledge so you have to study the four papers and the passing criteria is you have to secure 50 percent marks and 40 percent marks in each paper so the total marks is 400 so you have to secure 200 marks and along with it you have to secure 40 percent in each of the paper then only you will pass so if a paper is for 100 marks you have to secure 40 marks so these are the criteria in order to clear the foundation course so after you have cleared the foundation course you have cleared the foundation exam you have to study for the intermediate exam for a period of eight months after that you can appear for the intermediate exam and after you clear the intermediate exam you can do your integrated course on information technology and soft skill that is a four weeks course so these this course is to be done before the start of the article ship training so after you have cleared the foundation suppose in june so for eight months july august september october november december january february so till february you will study for the ipcc the intermediate course the intermediate level you will appear for it and then during the free period before the results are announced you can do your four weeks integrated course on information technology and soft skill because that has to be completed before you can start your articleship training 
so if you pass any of the groups in the intermediate level you can start your article ship training previously both the groups had to be passed in order to start the article ship training but now any of the groups or if both the groups are cleared you can start your article ship training and the article ship training is for 3 years the number of years is 3 years now what are the subjects which are involved in the intermediate level the passing criteria is same another criteria which is added in the intermediate level and the final level is the exemption criteria so if you secure 60 percent marks in any of the subjects that paper will be exempted and that exemption is carried forward for three attempts three upcoming attempts so suppose if you have given the intermediate level and you have cleared only group one and in group two you might have got exemption in suppose advanced accounting so in the next attempt you do not have to give paper five which is the advanced accounting which you can see on the screen and you have to give the rest of the paper so when the mark sheet will be when the results will be announced then the previous exempted number will be disclosed that this is the exempted paper and the numbers which you have got in the next attempt so the papers which are covered in the intermediate level is paper one is accounting paper two is corporate and other laws paper three is cost and management accounting paper four is taxation paper paper five is advanced accounting paper six is auditing and assurance paper seven is enterprise information system and strategic management paper eight is financial management and economics for finance so in the intermediate level there are two groups both the groups has four subjects each and in order to pass you have to get aggregate of 50 percent so the total marks is 800 so you have to secure 400 marks and 40 percent in each subject and if you secure 60 percent marks in any of the subjects that paper will be exempted for the upcoming three attempts now after you have cleared both the groups of intermediate level you can enroll for the ca final course so for the enrollment of the ca final course you have to clear both the groups of intermediate you cannot enroll or register for the financial final course before uh, after only clearing one group of intermediate level you have to clear both the groups so after you have enrolled for the CA final course you can you are doing the training and during the last two years of training you have to do another course it will be an advanced integrated course on information technology and soft skills so the training which you did before joining the article ship training you have to do before appearing for your final examination also and that you can do in the two years of your article ship training which is there so you will be doing the article ship training for three years and in between that after the completion of one year you can do the advanced integrated course on information technology and soft skills and after you have done 2.5 years of your article ship training you can appear for your final examination so you can appear in the final examination while serving the last six months of your article ship training and once you give your exams then after that you can complete your article ship training the balance remaining months and if you clear 
in that attempt then you will be enrolled as a member in the ICI and you will get the designation of Chartered Accountant CA. So in order to summarize what we have studied in the second slide which we saw the whole course in a nutshell it was that let me just go to that slide first we read the what are the papers in the final level the passing criteria and the exemption criteria is same the papers which are included in this level are financial reporting strategic financial management advanced accounting and professional ethics corporate and economic laws strategic cost management and performance evaluation paper 6 is an elective paper what it means that you can select any of the options which are been given by the institute and you can prepare for that and the paper 7 is direct tax laws and international taxation and paper 8 is indirect tax laws so for paper 6 you have these elective papers you can choose any of it there are six elective papers number one is risk management number two is financial services and capital markets number three is international taxation four is economic laws fifth is global financial reporting standards sixth is multidisciplinary case study so the elective paper you can choose from any of it any subject which you like you can choose it as your elective paper so this is the fee structure which we are talking about earlier so for foundation course you have to shell out 9800 rupees for the intermediate course for both the group you have to shell out 18000 rupees for one group you have to shell out 13000 rupees and for the final course you have to shell out 22000 rupees so if you add all the numbers you will get 49,800 so roundabout figure of 50,000 rupees so the investment is 50,000 which we studied and the return is close to 7-8 lakhs so let me just go to the second slide in which we discuss the education and training at a glance the CA course at a glance so in the slide 5, 6 and 7 we have studied what, is, what are the subjects, what are the passing criteria, what are the exemption criteria and what are the subjects involved. So all those things entire CA syllabus is disclosed in this flowchart. So there is the foundation route given and there is the direct entry route given. So in the direct entry route if you are doing CS also and CMA also cost management accountant or company secretary course then also you can enter directly into the intermediate level or if you are doing graduation then you have to secure 55 percent the conditions which were mentioned in the foundation course slide the condition was that if you are a commerce graduate you have to secure 55 percent and if you are other than commerce graduate you have to secure 60 percent then only you can enroll for the intermediate level and you have to do the integrated course on information technology and soft skills and you can appear for the exams only after doing nine months of practical training so in case of the foundation course route you do the practical training after you have cleared both the groups or any of the groups but for direct entry route you have to complete nine months of training first then only you can appear for the intermediate exams so that is the difference between the direct entry route and the foundation course route so all these things we have discussed that we can register with the board of studies after passing the class 10 examination on 1st of January 1st of July we will be eligible to appear for the exam after we have given the exams for 10 plus 2 higher secondary examination 
and after we have cleared the foundation course we can register for the intermediate course and then the next step the uh, the training on information technology and soft skills will be done you will be registered for article ship training the practical training which is known as then after clearing of the intermediate course you will register for the final course you will complete your advanced information technology course and soft skill course and in the last six months of your practical training you can appear for the final exam and after giving the final exam you will complete the balance remaining months of your practical training and once you clear the final examination you can enroll yourself as a member in the ICI and you will get the designation of chartered accountant so after you have cleared after you have pass through all the stages of CA first stage foundation course second stage intermediate course third stage final course you have cleared all the stages and you have passed all that and you have got the designation of chartered accountant then you can sit for the campus placement you can apply to the organization you can go to LinkedIn you can apply for jobs there you can go to Nokri you can upload your profile upload your CV and apply to the organization where you want to work so if you clear at one go all the stages then it will take close to four to five years of your life and within that period you will get the designation of chartered accountant with an investment of 50,000 rupees and that is excluding the coaching or the tuition fees which you will be incurring and you must be expecting that how much can a CA get so it depends which organization or which firm you are joining if you are going outside India if a company which has business outside India then in case of the campus placement you get an average salary of 30 to 40 lakhs and if you are applying for an organization which is within India and it may be a multinational such as Reliance Industry, Tata Groups, Adani Groups, Birla Groups if you are applying jobs for there and for public sector banks such as Punjab National Bank, SBI if you are applying for those you may get a salary of 10 to 15 lakhs 10 to 20 lakhs it depends upon the students also and it depends upon the market conditions also so in average a CA gets 7 to 8 lakhs and that may also differ if the market conditions are different but average a CA get 7 to 8 lakhs and on an investment of what 50,000 rupees so in article ship also you will be earning so that cost is also setting off the expenditure which you have incurred in ICAI so it is a very good return on investment on the cost you have incurred for this particular professional course so these are the companies where a CA can work this is not an exhaustive list you can work in D Shaw, State Bank of India which we have discussed Punjab National Bank, Axis Bank, Oriental Bank of Commerce, Andhra Bank, EY, PWC, KPMG, Deloitte which we have discussed earlier are the big four audit firms they are the biggest audit firms which audit listed companies, private clients, everything and they give along with the auditing services consultancy services also MA services also financial due diligence also every other kind of services so BDO comes after the big four and BDO and Grand Thornton shares the place of fifth and sixth biggest audit firms so that's about it you may have questions that right 
you may have questions regarding when can I register for the foundation course I have appeared for the 12th exam that we will discuss now so this is the end of the slide thank you so much for listening so if you have any questions you can ask and I will try to address that thank you so much for listening that was all about that is the end of the slide any questions if you have you can ask we'll try to address your queries any questions regarding any of the slides anything which you did not understood yes you can join it is not about uh, if you are weak in a particular subject there are other four subjects which are also there so if you can secure only the passing marks and get additional marks in any of the subjects then that will uh, help you clear the foundation course so it is not about the intelligence or anything if you are persistence if you are an average student also you can join in this particular course and you can clear the foundation course it is all about the persistence and the determination one by one if you can if you can raise your hand and if you can ask the question it that would be really good if you can raise your hand unmute yourself and ask a question that would be really good Yes, Bibek. Sir, if uh, I have not taken uh, the subject maths, then I can uh, do this course. You have not taken maths in your twelfth. Yes, sir. So that that I think it should not be a problem. You you have some knowledge about the maths, right? Some uh, basic uh, questions you can solve regarding the maths, right? Yes, sir. yeah so that so if if particularly maths if you find it difficult or you might not have studied the particular topics which is there in the ca course that would not be an issue you may focus on the other three subjects and you can try to secure more marks in those three subjects and try to secure the passing marks in the maths because you have business mathematics also and logical reasoning also so there is a bifurcation of marks in those particular thing also you try to get the passing marks so the passing criteria which we have discussed was 40% in each of the subjects and 50% in aggregate so you try to secure 40 marks in maths and you secure the balance marks from the other three subjects you can do that so that would not be a problem you can still join the ca course i hope when is the best time to join the course currently i am in bcom sem 2 so you can join when you are in the final year of your graduation you can join that but you can only appear after after you have appeared for the examination you have to give them the certificate of your graduation within six months of appearance because there is a criteria of 55 percent so that has to be satisfied if you are not done that then you cannot sit for the intermediate level so you have to give them the certificate of 55 percent which you have secured in graduation yeah sorry to interrupt vikash yeah. i hope the seminar was good yeah uh when, like there is no fixed time like you can enroll the course anytime you want to enroll you just need to provide 10 plus 2 certificate for direct entry you need a minimum graduation but if you want to go from the september foundation route you can enroll for the course anytime you want to enroll if you enroll by december by ja by december you get to give exam in may and if you enroll minimum four months should be the break between the registration and your exam period 
so the dates that is the criteria from the institute yeah sorry sorry for that so the dates which we discussed for the so there are two routes you can go for the foundation route also if you are doing the bcom same too but if you want to do after graduation you can do that also so for registration you have to for appearing in the may or the june examination you have to do uh, on 1st of january and for doing for giving the november and december exam you can register within july for appearing in the november or december examination so it is it it is upon you whether you want to do after graduation or you want to go through the foundation route because if you go to the direct entry route you do not have to give the foundation and you you are directly entering the intermediate level if you have the required percentage which is 55% Is it clear, man? Vikash, have you taken up the question of Yash Vardhan Bihani? He asked, yeah, is self study, study sufficient for? Yeah, it depends upon student to student. If you are able to do that, then it would be real. It is really good, and uh, there is no uh, particular need of doing coaching if you if you can study for all the subjects and clear that. I have heard, I have heard stories about students who have done the self study and cleared all that. So there is nothing as such that you have to join uh, coaching and do the uh, uh, do the CA foundation. that is not necessary and another question was chirag's question was that what are the unique skills along with ca degree which will help you get high paid jobs so it depends upon your requirement which subject or which field you are interested in if you are interested in finance you can go for cfa you can go for frm if you are interested in taxation you can do any other jobs any other certificate courses which are there for taxation if you are if you like the audit subject you can do concurrent audit certificate courses which are being provided by icai and any other certificate courses which are done by any other organization so it depends upon your skills your strength and weaknesses which will help you land the high paid jobs so chirag are you getting the point i hope i am yes, clear sir. on that yeah so bibek has another question please suggest a good college for ca without math so that so you are from which state are you from calcutta or any other state so west bengal calcutta so you have to search i don't think there is any other there is any college which is without maths because they have a subject they have in the ca curriculum that uh, cu curriculum that they have maths so i don't think there is any college without the maths thing you have to search for it i am not aware of that particularly yes maths is only in the foundation course not throughout only in the foundation course the subjects which we have studied in the the subjects which are there in the intermediate are this accounting corporate and other laws cost and management taxation advance accounting auditing assurance enterprise information system and strategic management and the last paper is financial management economics of finance the maths is only in foundation not in any other level aman any other questions any other doubts which you have regarding this particular course
any other questions any other doubts if anybody has If nobody has any questions then we can wrap up this webinar if you have any questions then we can discuss about it if nobody has any questions then we can wrap up we well, thank you Vikas so much yeah thank for you for being with us for this webinar thank you hopefully students will be benefited yeah thank you thank you thank you so much yeah